If you could alleviate all symptoms with a magic pill, would you do so? I've had my fair share of symptoms over the past few years, but in the long run I chose to see dis-ease for the teacher that it is, and in heeding the lessons instead of trying to run from them, I have healed myself in ways drugs and other mechanistic therapies can never hope to achieve. I guess I got started in 2012. I watched the sun rise on the winter solstice from the top of a hill near to my hometown, and knowingly made a pact with the universe. In fact, I now believe I was reaffirming a pact my soul had made before coming into this life. That I would come to understand certain truths, but not before I'd cleared the way, done the necessary groundwork, so to speak, on myself. That morning was a new dawn. A young man had stepped up and basically said, OK, I'm ready to begin my training. Approximately three months later, around the spring equinox 2013, I was on a stag do with a large group of mates. There was copious drinking and smoking, a great deal of what I now consider very low frequency food, and a trip to a strip club which even back then when I was still a slave to my lust, I found to be a very weird and seedy experience. My scalp broke out that weekend with what felt like huge thick scabs. It didn't bother me all that much as my hair hid the damage. I carried on as normal and went to the doctor once I'd gotten home and sobered up a bit. The diagnosis was psoriasis. She told me there was no cure, called it a condition for life. Even then I was cocky, thinking to myself, yeah, not in this body, love. Well, it intensified. Huge pieces of dead scalp peeled off every time I took a shower. It was disgusting. The lotion I'd been given only seemed to hasten the shedding of the scalp. My hair covered the weirdness, though. I still carried on with the standard Western diet, with drinking and smoking. Lost for one night stands when I could get them, and porn when I couldn't. I don't remember when it spread to my arms, but that changed things. Now it was out in the open. Saw red patches. I did what any little boy does when he's hurt. I told mum. She looked at my arms, then went upstairs and returned with a book open at a certain page. The book was You Can Heal Your Life by Louise O'Hay, and this is what it said. Psoriasis, fear of being hurt, deadening the senses of the self and refusing to accept responsibility for our own feelings. It rang true. I asked to borrow the book and read it cover to cover within the next couple of weeks. Long story short, it wasn't long before I had global psoriasis and it was all I could do to keep it hidden. I was forced to quit my job as a forestry worker because I had become so uncomfortable. Working was hell. I fell out with my boss and my buddies often. I broke off a relationship with a girl who was quite keen on me, said she wanted to help me with my skin. And I began a lengthy period of self-imposed isolation, celibacy and increasing porn use. I was approaching rock bottom. It wasn't until mid-2014, in a visit to Beijing to visit my brother who was teaching English out there, that I began to fight for my health. Everyone at home had seen me deteriorate slowly from a once outgoing and confident guy, but to my brother it was a shock to see me that way. When I returned, I vowed to get a grip. I quit alcohol immediately, basically because I couldn't face giving up the fags yet, and became vegetarian then and there. I didn't really know why, something just told me that was going to help me clean up my act. I started working on this little farm two days a week. I felt a lot better and my stress levels were going down. I was getting healthier and my skin cleared up a lot. At the end of 2014 I had some UVB light therapy, which reduced my symptoms as if by magic. I got straight on the phone to an old flame and made arrangements to go see her again. We drank, smoked and fucked. A lot. But I knew this was the old me. I'd seen a glimpse of what was to come and it was like a light calling me up. I had to leave this life behind. She actually gave me a book, The Easy Way to Quit Smoking, that finally flicked the switch in my brain that helped me get off the smokes. By the start of 2015 I'd learned so much about self-help and healing, I realised it was a process, I was governing it, and I'd signed up for it from day one, probably before I was even born. I vowed to leave alcohol behind and smoking too. Got serious about mountain biking, been vegan over two and a half years as of this recording. And there's one more thing, crucial, critical for any young man wanting to turn his life around. No fat. Mastering the base urge to lust over women. Oh my god, your life will never be the same once you slay that demon. I'm slowly getting my life back. I'm building a life at the moment that I've never lived before, in fact. I am closer to knowing myself. This is where the true power comes from. Temet Nose. It's alchemy. We must transmute lead into gold. If this inspires anyone, I'm glad. You deserve the best in life, my friend. We all do.